I'm going to divide this in half and add the moss green to one half of it to make it darker. So now I have two colors of green here that I'm going to put into my piping bag. When you're making leaves, you're going to want to use a coupler. This is the lovely dark green. Spread that on one side. And then I have the light green. Put that on the other side. And that's a Wilton 352. Uh, this little cap, I guess, for the coupler. So you just screw it on. And now you just pop this in, making sure the tip of the bag is in the coupler. We have our parchment paper squares. You're going to want a bit of frosting on your wine glass or flower nail. Your parchment paper is going to curl. Put it the curly side down so that it can't really get in your way. If you think about this like a little mouse, that is sideways, that is up and down. You want it to be up and down the tall way. tip to use once you place your flowers if you don't want to pipe your leaves beforehand. So I'm putting my paper down and you can just shake 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 and then bring it around. So these are for bigger leaves. It's really something that you just have to practice. If you get yourself the right tip, that's really all you need and then you just kind of go for it and figure out what works for you and what you like to do. If you do little micro movements of your hand, that's going to get you lovely little ruffled edges and it looks a lot more natural. I've also discovered you can do kind of like a fern frond with this. Um, so giving myself a base and then run right around it. So I'm going to be making my typical long leaf, so I'm just going up to the top. I'm just going to angle it upwards a little. Have it, my tutorial for how to make buttercream leaves. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you try it and how it turns out for you. It does take practice, but you've got this. I know you do. Thanks for watching. Take care. Please like and subscribe if you do like. I appreciate you.